Lesson number one, our environment. When we look around us, we find many things in our surrounding. All this form our environment. This includes trees, animals, insects and variety of colorful birds of all sizes. For example, a parrot is green in color, while a crow is black. A sparrow is tiny, while an eagle is big. Our environment has forest and barren lands. It has rocks, roads, fields and houses too. Our environment also includes mountains, valleys, hills, rivers, canals and ponds. There are different types of trees, bushes and climbers which adds to its beauty. We too are a part of this environment. Let's compare things which we find in our environment. That is a stone and a sparrow. A stone does not move from its place until someone changes its place. It never eats anything and hence cannot grow. It can also never give birth to babies. But this is not in the case with sparrows. It can move from place to place. It feeds on insects and food grains. A sparrow builds its own nest and lays eggs in it. Little sparrows hatch from these eggs. The sparrow feeds the young ones and takes care of them and helps them to grow. If the sparrow senses any danger, it immediately flies off, but the stone remains at the same place. Why do we see this difference between a stone and a sparrow? It is because a sparrow is a living thing and a stone is a non-living thing. The things that we see in our environment are divided into two groups, that is living thing and non-living thing. Living things are further divided into two groups that is animals and plants. Let us learn about the similarities between animals and plants. Animals give birth to babies in this way. Seeds present in the fruits and vegetables give rise to seedlings. Both animals and plants need food to grow. Kittens grow and become cats. Likewise, human baby grows into a child and then into an adult. This happens in case of plants too. Seedling grows into a plant. There are differences too in plants and animals. Human beings and animals can move from one place to another. For example, a fish swings, a frog jumps, butterfly flutters, children play and run around. However, plants cannot move from one place to another since their roots go deep into the soil, making them immovable. But plants do make some movements in their place, like their leaves and flowers show some movements. When the bud blooms, it turns into a flower. Its petals open, but all these movements are not being easily seen. Now let us talk about the trains we travel in. A train engine moves from place to place. So is it a living thing or a non-living thing? Correct. A train engine is a non-living thing because even though it moves from one place to another, it cannot grow like a living thing. There is one more example of a chair. Just because it is made from a wood of a tree, can it be called a living thing? No, a chair does not need food as it never grows. One has to move it from one place to another. So it is called as a non-living thing. The relationship between things in the environment, water, air and food are the essential part of our environment. All living beings need them. Apart from this, they also need other things which they get from the environment. For example, birds require cotton, twin, threads, etc. to build their nest. Man needs clay, stones, woods to build their houses. We also use stones to build wall, hand mills and mortar. Even he needs cotton, wool and silk from the environment to make clothes to protect his body. We make mats, baskets and paper using the materials we get from the environment. Leather footwear is made from the skin of animals. It includes fruits like banana, crops like maize and vitamin rich fruit like raspberry in their diet which he obtains from our environment. In this way our environment helps us to satisfy our need for food, shelter and clothing like man and animals and also get help from the environment.
seeds or pollen grains of some plants are carried away by wind from one place to another this helps the plant to grow at different places animals like sheep eat leaves and small plants when the sheep moves to different places the seeds trapped in their fleece or wool fall on the ground these seeds germinate and develop into a new plant in this way the sheep and the plants help each other now let us see how the living things have an effect on the environment a lizard eats insects reptiles like snake eat mice and lizards the cat also feeds on mice this prevents the loss and damage to the crops caused by the mice in the field vultures and frogs eat flesh of dead animals and help to keep our environment clean the remains of these dead animals mix with the soil even fallen leaves of trees decompose and mix with the soil this increases the fertility of the soil fertile soil helps the plants to grow healthy in this way living things can bring about a change in to a non living thing i hope you all have enjoyed listening to this explanation about our environment thank you